Okay, welcome to the Australian Open Nine Ball event 2010. Your commentators for this match will be Barry Mavros and Nabil Hassam. Nabil, how you going, my man? Good, good, Baz. How are you? I am awesome. That's awesome. Good. What a lovely event this has been. Uh, it's been great. Yeah. The, the caliber of the two players who are in here and, and their styles is going to ensure a great match for our viewers at home. Definitely. We've got, we've got two players that have been absolutely solid as the entire tournament. Robbie Fulvari, three-time World Beauty Champion, hell of a nice guy, great player, strengths, uh, safety, attack, mental game. David Roffel on the other side, one of the best players and the upcoming stars of the game here in Australia. Yeah, for strengths, sure. Strengths, safety, attack, mental game. Yeah. They are both evenly matched, yeah. similar styles. Um, and Except Robbie has a little bit more experience than Rothwell well, does. That's, the, that's what I was yeah. going to say is the key thing in this match is experience. As, you know, Robbie Fulvari has played worldwide, internationally he's a well-known player and um, he's got a lot of experience in finals and that's why I'm saying the mental game, it, it's strong. With um, Rothwell, he's an up-and-coming star of the game, he's beaten everyone in his path, not just beaten them, he's destroyed sure. everyone in his path and he's been on fire. I mean, that, that set that he played against um, uh, Cody Richardson, where he ran five in a row on him, broken ran five in a row, was incredible. Yeah, especially today, that's the most I've seen today. And he, I'm just looking forward to a great match. But the key for me is, can Relgic, uh, sorry, can David Roffel get to the table? Because I saw Robbie Fulvari sitting down players for 40 minutes, half an hour without missing a ball. I was one of them, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I didn't get a shot on a ball till I was five nil down. The guy's a machine. He is, really is. He is. But same with Rothley. Look, look at his composure. Look at his composure. He's so composed. We're going to have a lot of time to look at his composure because he's actually <laughs> yeah, the I slowest know. player in the <laughs> yeah, in event the world, actually. <laughs> and in the world. But I tell you what, I had a conversation with him two days ago. Uh, yesterday, actually, during the team events. I said to him, um, Robbie, I noticed you're using Mez Q and no longer a Snoopy Q. You're actually using a pool Q. Yes, I'm sponsored by Mez at the moment. Mez, by the way, in my opinion, the best day for Qs in the world. Um, and, and, and I also said to him, I noticed that you sped up your game. Because he was actually a lot slower last, last time I saw him. And he's improved on his shot selection, he's improved on his execution. He used to miss balls, but he's not missing anything. And you know, he's going to get better and better and better because he's a true champion in every way, a gentleman on the table. And if you're a champion in one sport like billiards, you can duplicate that in nine ball. Well, we, um, a couple of us boys, uh, myself and um, Alex Waddell and Cody Richardson actually asked him um, a question earlier, just before he got to the finals, after he won his semis, and we asked him how he's finding nine ball so far, and he goes, you know, he's loving it, but um, he's getting used to, the, you know, the change of game from billiards to, you know, nine ball, and yeah, yeah. And so you know, he's adapting. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's obviously it's his, it's not his first preference, but. You know, seeing the way he's played this event, you know, he's definitely, you know, I, I would say he's actually a favorite to win this event today. Well, I don't know, you know, yeah, well, the way that he's performed throughout the entire event, he's been absolutely solid and he's just sat players down for such a long time. And when they come to the table, they're absolutely cold. But the one guy that can beat him, the one guy in the whole room that can beat him in the final, in my opinion, is the man sitting opposite to him right now? Is David Ruffle? Yeah, yeah. Well, look at this this game so far. He's you know uh, he's punishing Ruffle because Ruffle has actually broken and uh, so he's, no, he's well he's punishing. Ruffle. Well, he got a ball in hand. Ruffle, yeah. Ruffle scratched off the break. That's right, and uh, he's he punishing him by right adrenaline now. coming yeah. in as well. Yeah. Ruffle's parents also came down to watch him play today. Yeah. And uh, I just wish I were here for the whole day because he's been playing awesome all day. I don't know, he might not get a shot for 9 or 10 racks. Yeah, well, <laughs> well <laughs> looks like the way uh, Robbie is going so far is, you know, he is punishing him, he's not missing a shot so far. And uh, I think he's going to clear this round. Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely you won't play against him, not clearing the rack, but there are a couple of factors involved. Yeah. A, it's the final, and two, you know, the, the it, he's going to do it. I just said A and 2 instead of A and B, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> The, the thing is, if there's, I'm not expecting any mental mistakes from a three-time world beating champion. I'm not expecting that. Not in a final, especially. The mistake that he could possibly make is an execution shot, um, but he has not made any any easy errors all day. He's been 
three. Solid, solid, solid. And the key to this rack is landing on the six ball right to get on the seven. I think uh, I think it was a tactical thing that he's done. Uh, losing his match to go into the loser's side <laughs> and, co and coming to to go into the final because there was a lot of threats in the winner's side. He's decided, let me just go through the <laughs> through the losers and. No, uh, he had no choice. <laughs> he had no choice in the matter. He was um, undefeated, and so was Johnny Wims. And when he came up against Johnny Wims, Johnny Wims sat him down and beat him nine racks to two. Sat him down. Yeah. He didn't get out of his chair. Yeah. And he went on the loser side and beat a couple of players on the loser side. Uh, Luke Hoff, by the way. Big shout out to Luke Hoff. Luke Hoff played fantastic this event. He did, he did. He knocked out the two favorite. He was a, he, he was a dark horse <laughs> <laughs> after a that. Real, a real dark horse. <laughs> dark like the night. <laughs> he knocked out um, Lewis Condor and Ben Newton, which was surprises to everybody. But and it was back to back. Tonight. It was back to back. Yeah, he's a good yeah. player, man. He's a really solid player. And he was on fire against him. But when he came up against um, Robbie Favari, he didn't get a shot until his 4 nil down. <laughs> And when he got to the table, he just slammed at the ball. Yeah, because he was get frustration. Well, it, it was, and he was actually uh, very irritated by, you know, the way the game was going because he wasn't getting a shot and it took so long. Well, that's the thing you have to get that out of your head. That's the way this guy plays. He plays, um, you know, he, he is methodical. He does take a while to shoot, and that's amplified. Oh this my God! The error here. This is just what Ruffle needed early in this match. Uh, 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 positional error from Robbie Fulvari. Oh, well, I guarantee you, six months from now, when he's really used to these tables, he will oh, not happen. happen yeah. um, what was I just saying? I was saying, um, uh, half playing the game against, um, oh, for oh, not yeah. just half, but any player playing um, a, a, a player like Robbie Fulvari, who is a, a slow, methodical player, um, you need to get that out of your head. He's not doing it deliberately, guys. He's no. a, he, that's his style of play, and everyone's different, you know. I'm actually considered a slow player too, Nabil, and I wish I was as naturally talented as, uh, as a Sean Bard or as a Vinny Calabrese who just runs the table and shoots a shot every half a second. But, <laughs> you know, I, I try to do my very best on the table, and this is what this guy does. He, I'm not saying he's not naturally talented, because I believe he's actually extremely talented, um, but he's, he's disciplined himself and trained himself to play in this manner, because that's how he gets his best results. And whoever's playing him has to get that out of their head and just... Um, um, play their own game. Now, what kind of shot can the three-time world billiard champion come up with Look, for safety here? Look, I, I've, um, I was just about to say to you, um, yesterday when I watched Favari play, he dodged, you know, a shot, um, as in he got snookered and he went up and down the, you know, from long and actually had to dodge six balls off a snooker and actually put a ball. Yeah, well, yeah, with a hundred percent accuracy, uh -huh. and he got snookered, and you know, and I think that's a safe shot that he's played here. Of course it is. But you know, the much you can only other player in this field who can match it in is safety play is, is Roffle. Roffle. Roffle, yes. Roffle is the, in my opinion, the best safety player in Australia at the moment. Yeah. He is absolutely phenomenal. solid when he comes. He is phenomenal. He's doing his PhD, by the way, in, uh, <laughs> did you know this, in nanotechnology. Really? He's a genius. Yeah. And he's, if you meet him, he's a really nice guy, he's extremely intelligent, and he studies this game like he studies anything else. I, I believe he's a, he's a high C, he's a very detailed person, and he'll figure out, a, if, he's, if there's a safety shot here, he'll figure it out. Not even going to bother oh, look, at look at this. He's a, he's a master at doing stuff like this. <laughs> I played both what these gentlemen. Shot. It is it is visible though, but it'll be a hard shot to reveal. What he just did there was incredible. Oh, yeah. I played both these guys, and I can tell you where they've beaten me. Yeah. Is, is this? No, they've beaten me in every area, personally. But when it came to safety play, every time I got involved with both these guys' safety play, I just felt like, my God, they were pulling out shots from nowhere. Well, I thought nowhere, but they, they were really very strong. They actually have a different, have a different camera angle to us. We're looking at it from the other end. Yeah, you can see know. Fubari's back here. Yeah. They can see the front. It's like a really good shot here. Fubari wants to just nick the outside of this black ball and come back, come back, and leave the black behind the nine. If it's too thick, though. That will happen. And this is just a testament to how good David Rothwell's safety is because a three time world Bidley champion. Wow, look at that white ball. This is not easy. It is a cutable shot though. Ah, uh, Rothwell will not play this. Rothwell will not go for a cut like this. He will think of another good safety and he will wedge that white ball behind that nine. But he well, might see. 
because this, I think I'm so excited by the way by watching this match. We're going to learn a lot of stuff from this match about safety play. I, I I think that um, he might try and cut it and go off two rail, three rails, and good position on the nine. Um, well, you know let's have I'm, gonna, I'm never going to bother saying what I think because these guys are, they're, they're they're on a different wavelength than me. They're they're far superior players to me in safety. I, I do not know what he's going to do here, honestly. Well, I, 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 I think I, I, can, I think he's going for the card and get going off four rails and, and, and getting position on the nine. Okay, let's see. Come on, Ruffle. Do what you're going to do. It was on. Well, if it's on, it's on. Well, he went That's off shot. He went off two, off two rails. I yeah. thought he would. Yeah. But if the I shot's on, would go it's on. Off four rails and come back. And he did off two. This nine ball for David Roth to go up one nil in the Australian nine ball open 2010. Nice shot. I think I was right there, Barry. <laughs> You're a machine too. Good chance for us to have a look at Ruffle's break. You know Ruffle does a very good control break. We're going to try and make the wing ball, the two ball, see the wing ball, bang in corner pocket and try and land on the one. Oh, and but he's he got to take the one. But that's what he does. He doesn't play a power break. He plays a control break. He's trying to make the wing and land on the one ball. And it's that's a great style. It's a great spread as well. But um, I think he's going to play a safety shot here for sure. Oh, most definitely. Has take to the white behind the nine down. probably. And this is what I was saying. The only man in the whole room that can match him with Ferrari on safety would be Rothel. You know he practices safety two to three hours a week. Well, if he cuts, if, if he cuts the three, he could land behind the nine and leave the three behind the five and the six. Oh, he, oh, well, he, oh, oh he's close. Shot. <laughs> he went the oh, other wow. way though. Wow. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for both these guys. Cutting it and going from from the back from the back row rather than yeah. and like I said, I'm not even gonna bother calling this this safety <laughs> because these two guys, the three time world billion champion and the Roth, they see things that uh, normal human beings don't see. I don't think they're actually human. <laughs> I think this guy here, Robbie Ferrari, might be bionic or something. Is it in place? By the machine? way, excuse me, just to let you know, when I asked him, you know, I told him, you know, you're just a human being, Robbie. And he goes, I'm not actually a human being. I'm lower than a human being. I go, what do you mean? No, I'm a lower human being. Yeah, and I go, excuse me, sorry, what a machine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a machine. <laughs> I'm a machine. <laughs> <laughs> and we yeah. were talking about how he um, gets the red carpet rolled for him when he goes to the Philippines. Because, you know, the kids there love him. Like, yeah, with his three time. Uh, he's, he, is a re he is a really nice guy. They'd have to find someone nice than him in this room. Except for perhaps yourself or myself. And that's because you're bigger than me and sitting right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, again, a really good safety shot from Ruffle has paid off. And Ruffle's got another chance here to run the ball. He will punish him. I think he will punish him here. Well, the way he was playing today, uh, you know, you, you, wanna, you could put your house on it. But yeah, then when you're in a final, under pressure yeah, against a three-time World Beer champion, yeah. and under pressure home. your parents are watching, yeah, true. And everyone at home is watching. He's got a bit too much angle here just to stop the white ball there, so he's gonna think of a way to get. I it. think I think he's gonna go up and down after putting it, go up, hit the top rail, come back down, and then play the four. Then you know a shot that I like here. I like, shot, I like playing um, stunned with the right hand side. He's going around and behind the seven out for the four. Yeah. He's going up angle for that shot. I think he would go where the nine is forward here. He's gonna go forward here. Yeah, so. he is. Yeah. Like I was saying, he would go. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect angle. Probably had beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Left That's side. exactly what, what I thought he would do. Right, you're tuning up on me right now. You're playing really good for me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I normally don't miss balls from me in the commentary box. I have to thank our sponsors as well, uh, Princess Entertainment. Thank you very much for hosting a fantastic event once again. And of course, a really big thank you to the lovely gentlemen from Cubal TV who allow us to and the privilege of commentating on these finals for you to for your viewing pleasure at home they do everything by the way for free and they do the very best job that they can with the resources that we have available to us now he was a little bit out of position there and you know what i think he's got in mind here my man safety all right did he go for the shot it's a pretty hard shot i think he played that shot on purpose thinking he could play safety after he could go for the cut it is a cut oh. ball and get the six. It is if he, he if he cuts that he will get he would get position on the six. Yeah, but the pot's difficult. 
it is yeah. a difficult cut. Yeah. Yeah. Positions, but you saw him cut. He saw three, three, four. It's a four, posi four round position shot here. And it's One, a two. That's it. Three, and um. Oh yeah. The Roth man. <laughs> Big shot right here, ladies and gentlemen. And here's that perfect Roth man. I would love to see how he will get the position from the eight to the nine. It oh. will be phenomenal. Oh. I think he's gonna. That shot he just played now was a key shot. It's just opened up everything. He's gonna. I will count um, three, three cushions, three rails to get to the nine. Well, there's three different ways of getting position in the back. It just depends on how he's sitting on the seven. Three different ways are a deep screw or a Z shot or follow three rails. And he's going to play the. He will go three three rails. Nice strategy in this back. It's not too straight, but I think he's going to go off three. after putting. It's going one, one two, two three. three. Yeah, three rails. Or maybe even two. Two could be enough. No, three. It has to be a three. We'll have to be a three. Make it 14. <laughs> Make it 14. <laughs> <laughs> let's just that let's six gamble. Six ball on the deal was a big, big, big ball. Come oh, on. he's trying to bring it back without using... Yeah, he's, what, he's using one rail. Right side. One side rail. And he's going towards the nine. Is Open it. Not what he wanted. No, definitely not at all. I think big what game. we had said was probably this the right shot. Off. The right know, shot, it pull it through. Like had. We can't really see from here what yeah. he's got. Yeah. So, um, you know, maybe going forward, if he had a bit of anger, maybe going forward with left hand speed off two yeah. rails down is best. Yeah. But, you know, it's always easy. Yeah. Hindsight's a big one. Well, I guess we're sitting here and he's yeah, and he's yeah, in, he's he's in the final. Now, again, he's going to have to play a really clever second shot against a three time World Blue champion. Robbie Pavone. And he's found great safety. I tell you, we're going to learn a lot of stuff in this match about how to play safe. This is awesome. That is insane. To play a safety shot like that is absolutely phenomenal. And now what do you do? Play safe from here isn't easy. Actually, you know what? There's a snooker safe where you bank the nine ball back up down to the to the, the brand name Brunswick. You know, and then you get the right on the back of the table, I guess. But you know, again, like I said, I don't even bother calling the safety shots in this match, guys. I've seen, I've these seen guys are far superior to me. In I've seen them cut balls like this before. Cut this? Yes, I've seen, I've seen them cut balls like this before. Cut where? In the corner pocket. I don't know. I don't know about that. In the right hand side. Give this man a knife. Cut away. <laughs> Make sure uh, there's butter on it. If you're gonna well. attack here, you're gonna do a bank shot. Yeah. Uh, or I mean, there's two choices in this situation, obviously, like any situation. Attack or defend. And you know Robbie Favari's style. Yeah, he is a defensive guy. Yeah, <laughs> but why not attack here? I mean, there's no real good safety shot. No. There's no good safety shot. Go for a bank. Go oh, a double. Bank. He could go for the double as well. This in the bottom. Yeah. Bottom left. He's banking it. Yes. He's banking it. He's got it. Oh, what a, what shot. a shot. Nice shot, wow. Robbie. That's what I'm saying. No good safety. Go out. Yeah. Shoot. Well done, guys.